good. I feel like it was a definitely a tough 1500 meter final and there was a lot of good competition in that. So it was fun to just be in that mix. What was your strategy going in? Um, just to really hang with whatever move was made. I mean, my goal is just to stay in second and I feel like I did a good job of like making sure that no one was like getting in front of me until like maybe it's 100 to go. So. Are you happy with your result? Yeah, I mean, I'm a 5K, 10K runner and coming fourth in that kind of field is incredible. I think getting on that team was gonna be a really hard challenge and I was excited for it. So to be able to be that close to it and hungry for more. Do you think these two 1500s did anything to your body that may affect your 5K tomorrow? I mean, obviously it's gonna affect me a little bit, but I think the gains that I got from it for the 10K moving forward are just much greater in my opinion. And I think it just really helps me work on my speed and my form towards the end of a race because that's what like a world final is gonna be like. You've already qualified in the 10K. That takes so much endurance. How do the skills that you use when you train for that and compete there, how do those translate here? Yeah, I mean, obviously I want it to be an even faster race for me because that's where my skills really come into play. And so I think it's good just to work on that speed and to work on that quick turnover and response. Did the other women in the field know you weren't going to take the spot if you couldn't stop first? I think so. Um, I was going to make it known after, but um, of course, like you want to fight for that top three regardless. You don't want to just fight for four. Why did you decide to run the 15 at this meet? Um, I just never get the opportunity to race the 15 since the 10K was earlier. We, it was kind of a last minute decision, but we felt like it would be a really good work for me just heading into the 10K, I think more than just running a 5K rather really low this week. Just to clarify, had you made the top three, you wouldn't have taken the spot? Uh, no, probably not. Focus is 10K, 5K. How do you feel about doubling in the 5K and 10K at Worlds? So what about the possibility? How would you balance that? Uh, well, obviously hope I make this 5K team, um, but I would just treat it pretty similar to how I went about the Olympics and that's just focusing at one at a time. One at a time. And, for this case, it'd be the 10K first. So I think that's good for me because that is like the really hard race to gear up for. So to be able to focus on that one first and then work on the 5K after, which is like my specialty event, is nice. What did you learn at the Olympics from the Um, It is, I mean, it kind of broke me at the time because it was just a really difficult double, especially in that humidity. But um, I learned a lot. I think it's just like your first time dipping into something like that is just, really big and you gain a lot of experience from that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.